But uh, yeah, so luckily we've got really good traffic conditions for this. He's not really hazarding too many people around him. He's not as wild as some of the pursuits we've seen here. But at any time, you never know what's going to happen with these guys as they uh, blast through the freeways here. Holding number four lane coming down through, uh, I believe that was uh, Los Angeles Street. He just went through now underneath Spring Street. And this next intersection will come up on is the uh, Harbor Freeway, or what we call the four level here, where the Harbor Freeway and the 101 come together. But I can tell you, just past the Harbor Freeway, it's a dead stop right after that transition of the four level. So he's he's going to hit some real heavy traffic here uh, as he comes up. As you see right now, he's just coming up to the 110 Freeway and kind of holding it right there. And as soon as he crosses that 110, traffic is going to come to a stop. That brings us up into the Hollywood area. So I uh, don't know what's gonna exactly going to happen here, but he's going to have to do some maneuvering to get through. There it is. A quick lane change over to number three, nearly clipped that car. Now this is when it gets dangerous, when he starts weaving like that. People don't know. Well, oh, barely misses that car. Over to the number three, continuing now. Traffic is really going to be coming to a standstill. He's probably going to have to hit the shoulder to get around most most of this uh, traffic, but he continues on uh, here. This is really, going to be difficult for really, the CHP really officer as well. I mean, you got to remember, these units that are trailing him are dealing with the same obstacles that he is and probably not as willing to take the risk that he is. Uh, but uh, at this point, it appears they're, they're managing to, to stay relatively close behind him. You can see the flashing lights there. Yeah, it, he's, like I said, he's going to have to get through the intersections or through the, uh, the shoulder up to the uh, center divider, things of that sort. You see right here, just kind of working his way along. CHP is going to do the best he can to stick with him, but uh, I can tell you, it's really uh, hard for the officer. Oh, I just wow. barely missed it. They're going to, they'll go behind him, but they're going to back off and let the air unit take it here if it gets much more dangerous than this. That's a normal procedure. Just barely missing those cars as he passes them. So. These poor guys uh, you know, on the freeway here have no idea this is coming up behind it. This guy's just blasted by him on that right-hand shoulder. And then, you know, continuing on here, CHP kind of sticking with him. Now he's coming up to, I believe this is the Glendale off. Yeah, Glendale off. He's taking the Glendale off here and uh, going to continue off. This will take him up into the, uh, the uh, Glendale area. So uh, continuing north now, north on Glendale up into the the area around uh, Echo Park, and that's the Echo Park Lake right next to him. And uh, you can really see this uh, thing is going to really get going here on the surface streets. We're going to bring Sky 5 around as we fight our way fight our way around here through this area. He just This is one that's going to get really, really dangerous with the uh, cross streets and things of that sort in here. But coming up through the Echo Park area, the next, next street he's going to come up to is going to be... Uh, it's oh. going to be Sunset, which is the major. Oh. Try to pit maneuver. And they're continuing. Oh, the, oh I, I missed that as I kind of watch the other helicopters here. Uh, coming up to Sunset here, going to be going down to the center divider. Cross traffic, cross traffic, bas eastbound on Sunset. You can see that was really something there coming through. We're having to work our way around and continue through here. Eastbound Sunset through that intersection. Coming back down towards Dodger Stadium, and this is really, really going to get dangerous uh, down through these little tiny streets here in uh, the uh, Echo Park area as he comes through. This will bring him down towards Dodger Stadium, just zipping around that corner, kind of really high speed around the corner, downhill run here. Coming, just continuing on. Oh, man, just high speeds here, just unbelievable. He's, if he hits somebody and intersect that speed, it's going to be a devastating crash, but you can really see him just flying wow. along here. This brings him back down towards uh, downtown. Michael, let me say it to you. Okay, he looks like CHP's coming up on him again. This is way too fast for a pit maneuver. I don't think he's ever going to try it at that speed. What are you but estimating the speed on at, at this point, Tim? 80 miles an hour is what they're saying on the frequency as they wow. uh, continue down. So that's very, very fast. Over the top of the 10 freeway now, as you see right, or well, excuse me, the 110 freeway, bringing him back down into uh, the uh, uh, area just north of downtown, uh, the little Chinatown in that area. So you're trying to get back around here, get the buildings out of the way, but it's very fast moving. We have a lot of helicopters up here with us uh, as well. So I'm just trying to keep an eye on them and keep an eye on this pursuit as well. As we come down through, you saw the CHP area unit just go through our shot. He's down low calling the pursuit for the ground units. Uh, continuing down southbound, or correction, the eastbound through uh, Sunset here, which is going to bring him down into the Union Station area. Uh, that's one for a landmark for you. That's going to be Union Station. He's going to come up on now a southbound turn here 
are actually southbound Spring Street. Just turned southbound Spring Street. That's going to bring him right into the, the downtown area, into the big buildings. The big street freeway you're going to see him go over is going to be the... Uh, the 101 looks like we're getting back on the 101. We're paralleling the 101. And this is where the on-ramps are for the 101. I believe that's Temple. And then he turned uh, south into the buildings here. Let me get the street for you. And try to get Might him as he comes through these intersections. Yeah. Okay, back eastbound. I believe that's Third Street that goes on the north side of the uh, City Hall. Uh, zipping through that intersection. M5 has all you guys at 2300. And continuing here eastbound through the east side of downtown. Uh, the building's kind of getting in the way for us here, but doing doing the best I can. We're eastbound on the uh, first street right now. And as we come up, we turn south, and I believe that's going to be... I'm not sure which one that's going to be, i uh, tell you the truth. That's, but that's the uh, part of the Union Station, also the blue line there that comes up comes in downtown that's central street i'm being told by bob kemp my cameraman who's keeping an eye on this for me but right now it's a really high speed pursuit through a very tight part of downtown here continuing southbound on the east side of uh of uh downtown this is coming down into little tokyo area but the central southbound high rate of speed probably through about sixth street now and then uh, really cooking along here. Now turning eastbound there, just blew through that uh, red light there, now snapping back another southbound turn here. When these guys start doing this, this is when they're going to go to ground. So we're going to try to keep a close watch on this guy as best I can. Michael, let me send it to you just for a second so I can get maneuvered in with the other helicopters that are overhead of this pursuit. You Michael. bet, Tim. Do what you need to do, and we're going to continue to watch this overhead. This is now uh, east of downtown Los Angeles uh, in the industrial area. A lot of room to run here on surface streets. Plenty of options, not many when it comes to the freeways. Now that he's crossed over uh, closer uh, to the L.A. River there, he's going to have a hard time finding... Uh, uh, a freeway on-ramp, which seems to have been his preference to this point. If you're just joining us, this pursuit now over 30 minutes old. It originated in the Diamond Bar area, uh, right at about the 60 freeway and the 57 CHP, pursuing a stolen car suspect. One man inside the car, we believe. He's wanted uh, in, in suspicion of stealing this car. Uh, the pursuit originated again by CHP on the 60 freeway. Uh, we're having a little bit of signal trouble here. This uh, will continue to stay with it. The, the car now uh, has been on surface streets for the last five or ten minutes or so, but prior to that it had been all freeway pursuit, all the way out from the Diamond Bar area, uh, zigzagging along the 57, the 210, the 605, and then taking the 10 westbound uh, into downtown, uh, and then jumping on the 101. This driver then jumping off the freeway at Glendale and doubling back eastbound toward downtown Los Angeles, weaving his way through downtown Town, and now here he is, uh, apparently east of downtown, at a near miss. There, he's really increased the danger level here of this pursuit. As we've been mentioning earlier, he was driving at speeds upwards of 100 miles an hour on the freeway, showing very little regard for the safety of others around him, himself as well, indeed, at over 80 miles an hour on surface streets. This pursuit, very, very dangerous as it uh, moves in uh, east of downtown Los Angeles. Uh, without the help of the helicopter, I'm having a hard time uh, identifying the streets. I don't uh, see much around it, but we'll continue to to check in with Tim Lynn when he comes available again and uh, get our bearings on this. But this pursuit, very, very dangerous. It has been uh, uh, pretty free of traffic uh, for the most part since we've been following this pursuit. This individual, uh, again, wanted for uh, stealing the car that he's driving. Uh, we believe there's just the one individual in the car, uh, and again, driving at a very high rate of speed. It appeared at one point, once he jumped off the freeway, they were running uh, back eastbound on, uh, on Sunset. Prior to that, they were on Glendale Boulevard, and it appeared as though CHP tried to pit maneuver the car. The car's tail end began to slide out. They had it been going 30, 40 miles an hour at the time on a two-lane surface street. Uh, obviously, the pit maneuver wasn't successful. Uh, the driver was able to gain control again and continue going and at a very high rate of speed with very little uh, pattern to his movements here. Oftentimes, with a pursuit, the drivers will, uh, will go to an area that they're familiar with. Uh, and now, we're seeing a change. This individual's decided to stop, at least for the moment. And CHP, Tim, are you with us here? 
No, yes, I am. It looks like they're bailing out here. This is on Central, just south of Washington. We're trying to hold this hold this position here for you. We're just on the edge of LAX's airspace, so I'm going to try to keep an eye on them from here. But they're on foot running through there and continuing on. The CHP right behind me. You see right there a little bit of uh, running down the alley. Now, we were told there's only one person in that car, but now you, you can see that there's more than there was, what, three that came out of there? I didn't quite see exactly how it came out. It's trying to deal with uh, the air traffic here but it's uh, really something else you want going over the fence now CHP is on him with a light uh, more than likely in a situation like this they'll just they'll stay with the driver and they don't go any faster or any uh, other person they'll stick with the driver and we got a car back there turned on that could possibly be uh, well there he goes you continue on running and uh, it's uh, really a tight situation here with the air traffic control and also with uh, airspace. But you see right here, he's running up on top of the car, and now he's going to go jump over that next fence. That two's going to run behind you. Uh, anyway, then continuing on here in that backyard, but he's not going to get away. He's not going to get away from that uh, that air unit. All right, Michael, Tim, we're going to have to take the, the coverage back. So I can you bet. No, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump off the air here. Our time is up for the news. It's